me make something very clear, Alexander. I will not be berated by some raging, ignorant child. I can't sit here and take this any longer. I've tried to be patient. I've tried again and again and again. If you are not with me, then you are against me, and I will not be threatened by a madman. Then that old bastard pointed his pistol, his iron that he used to put confederates in the ground, straight at my balls. Come on now, Mr. Bali. I don't want to, Alexander, but I will pull this trigger if I have to. Stop this madness. Fight for me or don't fight at all. Or is this not what a real man does? With that hold down, that is all the material for the exam. Now, please, please, uh, let's take this time to study. I'll be in the faculty lounge if anyone needs me reading a self-help book on how to meet friends after 40. Hey there, big guy. I got a question for you. Let's say that Johnny Boy is out hitting the clubs, keeping it fresh, and laying it all out on the floor. Johnny Boy has something that we call disco fever. Located in Erie, Pennsylvania. What the hell were you thinking? Disobeying orders? Abandoning your post? Sir, if you would just let me explain. I don't need an explanation. You're the worst of all, X2. And don't tell me that you figured it out. They will always be ten steps ahead of us if you don't stick to your post. Isn't that what we've been doing? Sticking to our post? And where's that gotten us, General? You just want to level the playing field, but we are even further behind than we were ten cycles ago! You are spies! Not soldiers! Well, then maybe we should reconsider our hierarchy of command. The enemy is strong. Much stronger than before. Smarter. Faster. And I am not going to risk losing my best spies in battle just because they've decided to play hero. Espionage. That is your only duty. So do it. <laughs> 